Well, it is now official, guys. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is coming to the LA Galaxy. And to be fair, this shouldn't come as a really big surprise because this has been a kind of news that has sort of been talked about in the last couple of days and in some way yesterday sort of kind of confirmed it because uh, Manchester United officially terminate Ibra's contract and it was just a sense that you know that was kind of the green light of Ibra officially leaving Manchester United and that he will eventually join LA Galaxy in the next couple of days and there was a bunch of news source that talked about how they are going to confirm that that Zlatan is officially going to sign with the Galaxy in the upcoming days. Well, it turns out this upcoming days finally comes. It comes today. The club website and also the Twitter page has officially announced that Zlatan is coming in to MLS and joining the Galaxy. And I gotta say, this must be a very, very exciting news. I mean, pretty much everybody is talking about this. Um, it, and it's not just the Galaxy that is talking about this. Pretty much every single MLS team and pretty much anyone that is related to MLS and the media is talking about this because this is just such a big news, which is why I kind of had to make this video. You know, I usually do not make video about a guys joining another club besides the fact that they are joining my club that I support, which is the San Jose Earthquakes, but because this is such a big kind of story, I had to cover it, and, you know, for me, I really think that there is really two things that I can say with this kind of signing, um, and the first thing I will say is that I'm like many people in the MLS are very hyped up and very excited to see Zlatan play in the MLS. But the other thing that I will also say is that I really do not want to hear people keep saying that MLS is a retirement league. And this has been just something that a lot of people has been talking about uh, in these last couple of years. And it's been kind of a reputation that MLS sort of built on ever since David Beckham kind of comes into MLS and how you got, you saw like a lot of kind of old kind of European star kind of guys that is already past their prime uh, with the likes of David Villa, uh, Kaká, Thierry Henry, um, who else? Um, who else it is there? Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, Andrea Pirlo, all these guys that are kind of guys that has been playing in Europe and already kind of past their prime to come to MLS to just sort of retire and seize out their best of year. Well, guess what? That is no longer a thing that I think people should associate, even though people are still kind of associate with this lifetime kind of signing. Mainly, I really think that people don't get about MLS and why I think it's not a retirement league anymore, is that the, the league has already been mentioning that they are not going to continue this kind of retirement league reputation that they kind of built on themselves they are moving into a new direction which is why you always hear something that is called mls 2.0 or in some cases mls 3.0 because this is a time where mls is moving into a new era it is a time where mls is trying to get itself to be kind of like a selling league kind of like what uh the portuguese league and also the dutch league is uh they invest in these kind of young talent and eventually they will sell them to bigger clubs which is why you also have seen so many young south american talent that has come to the league this season i mean you have seen guys like jesus medina ezekiel barco and also kaku all coming to mls and they are young kind of exciting south american American talent that eventually we're probably going to sold in a couple of years and this is how how the the league is moving into the new direction so for those people that still say that MLS is a retirement league they have to look at that as an evidence of why it's not a retirement league anymore and I think the second evidence that I will also say why MLS is no longer a retirement league is that the guys that we sign even the big European star that we sign we don't really rely on them as much as it used to be a couple years ago I mean let's say for example the LA Galaxy 
I think even with Zlatan not coming to the LA Galaxy, it's pretty clear that they're definitely not going to be like what they were last season. I mean, the Galaxy has already made so many new signings this year. They completely revamped the back line. They got a new goalkeeper, and, you know, they got... got even star player with the likes of Ola Kamara and Perry Kitchen and Chris Ponia in their team. And they also started to get guys that is potentially out for a majority of last year with the likes of Sebastian Leggett. And also getting guys that potentially are going to try to prove themselves that they can be be better than they were last season with the likes of Roman Alessandrini and also the Dos Santos brothers. So it's not like this Galaxy team is going to be like last year, even without Zlatan. I think in some way you could probably will say that they might be better off without Zlatan. Uh, but yeah, this team is definitely built for success. And that is kind of one of the reasons as an evidence of why we are not going to have to rely on these old kind of veteran kind of European star as the main man in the team. I mean, sure, they probably will give uh, a couple of these guys some experience and kind of some some leadership in their team that kind of will will carry them to success but it's not like we really need to expect them to score like 20 or 30 goals to just completely carry the team i mean that is not how it is anymore in mls so that is pretty much a couple of evidence of why i think people should reconsider the fact that you are calling this a retirement league when clearly this league is moving into sort of a new direction now now the second thing that i also want to talk about this and the second reaction to this is really more about what's going to happen with zlatan in la and where exactly is he going to pe play and you know i actually haven't really mentioned this yet and i cannot believe i actually have not mentioned this but basically la galaxy have signed Zlatan on a TAM contract that is worth $3 million for two years. Now, for those of you that are not very familiar with the MLS, uh, basically TAM is called Target Alloc Allocation Money. And basically this Target Allocation Money is a system where MLS implement teams to spend the player salary on a specific player, but they can only spend it under the player salary cap um they can only spend it no larger than what it is in the salary cap and this year the player salary cap for the tam system is 1.5 million so you know the three million that zlatan has got this year um is probably the maximum you could have as a tam player anything that is above that will will kind of classify him as a DP kind of player. And again, for those of you that don't understand MOS and don't follow MOS very closely, DP stands for designated player. And basically, this is a rule where you can sign up to three player in your team to a contract that is above the player salary cap. And I think from what I know with the LA Galaxy, they sort of already have three players that is in that DP slot, and they're planning to not really buy any of those players down off of that DP slot, which is kind of one of the reasons why they had to force to sign a TAM contract with uh, Zlatan in this case. But I think the other reason you could also argue why that LA decided to sign a TAM contract with Zlatan Ibrahimovic instead of a DP is because of the fact that I don't think he's going to really just start every single game for 90 minutes. And I think if Ziggy Schmidt is going to do that, if he's going to put Zlatan as kind of the main man and just start for the full 90 minutes every single game, I guarantee you that he is going to get himself injured before the All-Star break and he's going to get absolutely burned out before the All-Star break happens. I mean, it's pretty clear that Zlatan, you know, as much as people talk about how Zlatan is immortal and that he is like God or like something like that, you gotta remember that he did suffer a really bad injury and it took him so long to recover. And we all know that it definitely takes longer for a player to recover as you get older. And it also gets really harder to try to perform at the, at its, 
at its peak like it was um that Zlatan was a couple of years ago after coming off of an injury so it's pretty clear that Zlatan is not going to be like the Zlatan he was a couple of years ago I mean he will of course still score a lot of goals and he will still consider a very dangerous man but he's not going to be like that vintage Zlatan's going to score like 30 or 40 goal and just going to completely conquer MLS like what people would kind of consider that so yeah that is one thing that i will say about this and i hope that maybe there kind of like is two options for ziggy schmidt to do here one of the option is that he can potentially put zlatan in as a starter and probably sub him out every single game in the 65th minute but the bad thing about this is that you're gonna have to burn a substitute spot every single game um but the second option you can do is basically bring him off the bench um maybe he can come off the bench be like a super sub and potentially score late goals and stuff like that that could be uh, an option that Ziggy Schmidt can do and I think that probably is the better option considering the fact that the Galaxy have already have a striker in their team they already have their their stru star striker Ola Kamara in the team and unless if Ziggy Schmidt is not going to go with two up front um then i think zlatan potentially is going to be in the substitute bench i mean i don't see where else you can put zlatan you can't really put him in the wing area because he's not fast at all and you can't put him as a central attacking mid because he's not a creative type of player so yeah that's kind of like what my overall thought about this zlatan kind of thing of him coming to the LA galaxy let me know in the comments below what is your reaction to this uh do you think that that Zlatan come to MOS is just another kind of re-indition of how MOS is a retirement league. And also, let me know in the comments below, what do you think, uh, where do you think Zlatan is going to be fit in that Galaxy system? And especially if you are a Galaxy fan that is watching this video, let me know in the comments below, how will Ziggy Schmidt will deal with him and where exactly will he put him? Will he put him as a starter or will he put him as kind of like a super sub so let me know in the comments below and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time